transactional replication is very popular feature of SQL Server and also Azure SQL Managed Instance. You can use it to replicate data from SQL Server or Azure SQL Managed Instance database to a remote database hosted on SQL Server, SQL database, or SQL Managed Instance. Transactional replication is a very flexible and versatile tool that you can use to synchronize multiple databases in different environments. Transactional replication also can be used to migrate databases from one SQL Server or Azure SQL Managed Instance to another by continuously publishing the changes. Publisher, distributor, and subscriber are the main components of transactional replication. Publisher is the source of the replication. It defines the set of data that is to be replicated. It is responsible for creating the initial snapshot of the data. And then later, it sends all the changes made on the source to distributor. Distributor collects the changes from the publisher and sends them to the subscriber. Distributor acts as a reliable storage and forwarder, and it can work with multiple subscribers. Finally, subscriber receives all the changes from the publisher, and subscriber is the target of the replication. SQL Server and Azure SQL Managed Instance can act as a publisher, distributor, or subscriber. Additionally, Azure SQL Database can be subscriber, but it cannot be publisher nor distributor. We can set up transactional replication with SQL Server as publisher and distributor and Azure SQL Managed Instance as subscriber. Similarly, we can set up Azure SQL Managed Instance to be publisher and distributor with SQL Server as subscriber. Let's see how can we set up transactional replication from SQL Server hosted on-prem and Azure SQL Managed Instance. One prerequisite for this is that there is network connectivity between on-prem and Azure environment, and this is achieved by point-to-site VPN, which is already configured. So to set up replication, first thing we need to do is to configure distributor. Here we will use default values, so I will quickly go over this, and as simply as that, distributor is created. Next step is defining publication. Here I will choose database, transactional publication. I will choose just one table to be replicated, purchase orders. I will create snapshot immediately, define credentials. And define publication name, purchase orders short. And it will be created. Finally, I create subscription. I'm adding subscriber, this will be my managed instance, and I'm choosing subscriber database. Define credentials again. And subscription is created. So let's query purchase orders on managed instance. And let's also query the same table on the SQL server we see entire table is replicated. To learn more on transactional replication and Azure SQL Managed Instance, follow the link on the screen. Thank you.